an impulsive voltage E del T is applied to a circuit consisting of LRC in series with zero initial condition. Initial condition is zero and series is LC, LCR. If I be the current at any subsequent time t, find the limit I as t tends to zero. So friends, this formula is important formula I have already written because for this and you have to remember in formula remembering remembering formula formula of LCR circuit is L di divided by dt plus R I plus one by C zero to T T I D T is equal to E del T. Okay, this formula is remembering formula friends. Now taking Laplace both side. So Laplace both side. So whatever I get, I get L L is i bar is s i bar minus i zero plus r i bar plus one by c i bar divided by s equals to e So friends, whatever I get, S square plus R by L is plus 1 by C L I bar equals to E by L S. This is the formula friends. Okay, very simple. I just apply Laplace. Laplace in both sides Laplace in both sides and this formula is come from Dirac this equation is Dirac delta function delta Dirac delta function so E by L is now it can be written as S square plus 2s plus a square plus b square i bar is equal to e by l okay e by l is where r by l is equal to 2 a and 1 by c l is equal to a square plus b square So friends, we get this equation s square plus 2a s plus a square plus b square b square i bar e by l l s. So friends, I get i bar from this equation i bar equals to e by l e by l s divided by this portion is can be written as is s plus a whole square plus b square okay and this is the it can be written s plus a minus a okay for my convenience and i bar equals to e by l l and s plus a divided by s plus a whole square plus b square minus a divided by s plus a whole square plus b square so inverse laplace so i equal to e by l l so inverse equal to e to the power minus at cos bt 
simple this is the formula must remember and in here e to the power minus 80 sine sine bt into e divided by b okay because a inverse a d b divided by s square plus b square is equal to sine bt okay this formula i apply but when e to the power minus 80 multiplies it is s plus a whole square plus b square so i equal to e by l now limiting this to the in according to the question t tends to zero t tends to zero so i tends to e by l i tends to e by l so although the current i equals to zero initially large current we develop we develop instantaneously due to impulsive voltage applied at t equals to zero zero in fact we have determined limit of the of this current which is e by l limit of this current is e by l this is my answer i hope is it clear for every one